Yo, welcome back to the BST slash bike channel that I'll finger pop anything that's motorized. Anyway, man, today uh, a subscriber asked me a question. Now, most of you Crown Vic guys out there know the answer. We talk about it all the time, but I'm going to reiterate one of my old videos that I have and put it in a more modern twist for this time period. Now, he asked me, and this is my man, Saint the Realist, I want to put extra power to my 2011 police interceptor without doing much. I want to keep it automatic. <laughs> I'm not really laughing at you, brother, but here's the deal, man. Most people do a five-speed swap to get a little bit more oomph out of their Crown Victoria. Me, I like to do the engine swap and the five-speed swap to get a little bit more oomph out of my Crown Victoria. But you want to keep yours automatic in stock form, and that is the best way to go. Here's the deal, man. Boom. I'm sure your interceptor looks like this, right? Underneath your hood and my hood, we have a 4.6 single overhead cam. Now, you said you don't want to do nothing to this engine. Okay, no problem. You don't want to touch it. No cams for you, right? You can upgrade with some injectors if you like, but anything that you touch on this engine, you need a tune. So, whatever you want to do, as far as intake, as far as throttle body, as far as anything, cams or whatever you want to do, you need to get all of that stuff first and then hit that ECU up, all right? So, you don't wanna do anything like cams. That's cams is out the way. Maybe you wanna do a little bit of uh, intake action to get more air coming in. That's kinda cheap, that's no problem, but you know that you're gonna need a tune. So, air box, you wanna do a cold air intake? You can if you like, you know what I mean? I know my man, Crown Victoria Lifestyle, he said, yo, just get a nice little elbow so you can get a nice straight through situation right here and you use a K&N filter. Me, I like it stocked just like this. It doesn't matter whether you like it like that or like that. It's cool, it'll work for you. But, now if you wanna do a pulley situation that you can do with your 4.6, get one from a Mustang or something like that, but you do not use the alternator pulley. Just use this and the other little smorgasbord of other stuff right there and you're good and you will not need a tune. So let's get right back to the whole thing. The best thing for you is to call this number right here and check out my man Marty. Right. Marty. You understand? Call him up. Tell him you need a tune for your Crown Victoria, right? But the best thing to do is get his package deal. Once you do that, he will give you a tune every time that you need to upgrade it. Let's say if you went here and you got a gear set, right? Right underneath here, because hey, you need something to get this car off the line. It's dang near 4,000 pounds. And this right here got a weak gear set. You know what I mean? You need like a 375, you know, something up there. You know what I mean? 410s, something like that. Depending on if that's the route you want to take. You know what I mean? Now, mind you, if you do that, that has nothing to do with your engine. Your engine will be fairly stock. You don't have to change the injectors. You don't have to change nothing. If you just get that tune from Marty, your car will wake up. But if you want to get some smorgasbord of other parts, right? And you got that tune from Marty already and you bought the handheld from him because it's going to be somewhere around 500, maybe, yeah, 500, $600 maybe. But it's all good because once you bought that thing from Marty, you'll be good because if anything you change or whatever like that he'll send you the tune to accommodate it so best pound for pound right now for what you're talking about my man saint the realist just check out marty and get that tune that's going to be the best situation you could just close your hood don't touch nothing in there get that tune from marty right boom go right underneath here and you can plug it up right to that situation there and you will be straight. I'm telling you, dude, you don't really need to like do all the crazy stuff right there. If you don't really have money like that, you don't need to do crazy things like that. You could just take $600 of your hard earned cash and get a tune from Marty because that would be your best solution, man. And that's for anybody else out there. If you want to get something done to your Crown Victoria, man, and you want to get a little bit more pep, you know what I mean? This thing here is good in stock form, but you want a little bit more pep. You have to 
get the gear set and you get the tune from Marty and don't even worry about it. You can keep your transmission if you want to get the J mod. Remember we spoke about that? You really don't even need to get that, man. You know what I mean? You get that tune from Marty, you get that gear set, and a car just would be a different animal. But make sure your transmission is good before you take those routes. You know what I mean? So that's what I got to tell you, my brother, man. Uh, hopefully this video can help you out on your journey with your Crown Victoria and anybody else got any questions, hey man, I'll answer them and put them inside the video. You know what I mean? Anything. You got anything? I'll answer it. No problem. I've been doing most of the bike stuff now. You guys been knowing that I switched up. No, I ain't switched up, switched up, but you know, this is what I'm doing. Um, uh, it's rough. It's tough. Um, I'm doing that motorcycle. Um, that little, uh, what is it called? That, uh, that GL100, uh, 1000, whatever the heck it is. That going gold wing. And, um, man, it's coming out pretty dope. I, I tore it all the way down. It looked like this before, and then it looked like this, and then it looked like that. Now it looks like this. I'm welding. I'm cutting. Um, some parts that I ordered, supposed to have came in. It didn't come in. It's just a mess, bro. I'm just dealing with a lot a lot of stuff behind the scenes no different than my own shop at my house it's pretty much the same deal and then um i was doing some other stuff behind the scenes like powder coating like this right here um i chopped up the fender and i powder coated it yeah man that's going to be going right there like that and um we're going to be taking down these forks and everything i'm just doing a little bit of detail work and it's mainly an update on what we got going on. I'm going to be taking down those carburetors, but first, man, you guys didn't see the carburetors, but basically the carburetors look like this. Now, you should see these things, man. Oh, man. Let's go over here. Man, do you see these things? Amazing. Now, these were vapor blast, right? With water and this fine media. And man, it, it kind of like polishes it. I mean, look at this spring. You can't get that with a, a, a glass bead. This is amazing. Cost me a lot of money. So, James, if you ever get to watch this video, man, that was a little bit too much money, bro. You gotta hook me up, man. <laughs> anyway, so now we can pull these carbs apart and then we can start doing our thing. But not just yet, because we got a lot more other things to do. So. As you can see right there, man, we got rims, we got shocks that we got to do. Um, I was thinking about powder coat nose. Um, we just cleaning up some stuff here all around the bike. I definitely need to clean this up. I may get this vapor blasted maybe or powder coated black. I don't know yet because I'm planning to have black wheels. I don't need that to be black also along with everything else. So here's a video clip of me um, checking the cylinders right to see how they look so as you guys can see in that video man cylinders look legit I put some air in it because something how something got in there uh, I just blew it out with the air and everything like that man the cylinders are legit I only did the one side but I'm pretty sure the other side is just as good so totally apart back rim gone uh, chop the seat a little bit hey man front suspension gone had to do a lot of different things here um the bearings were shot so i went and got that i used this nice little thing here electric joint to carve out the seat came out pretty daggone sweet use a cheese grater and just now with the engine part here right i'm trying to clean it up but um i may leave it weathered like that you know what i mean um i was gonna make it all cute and everything but kind of changed my mind I just thought about it. So in the front here, I'm gonna be um, trying to get the front done and everything. So that's really the goal um, today, tomorrow, some other day, whatever I'm trying to do. We'll see you guys on the next one. All right, click like and subscribe and check out all the other Crown Victoria channels out there, bro. And um, man, I don't know, you gotta... This car be rocking, man. This car be rocking. Later.
if you build the right thing when the things are unpopular, that's, that's the time to go build something.